Good morning, y'all. So I have to go to the dentist today at 4.15. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do something pretty basic today <laughs> because that will be, from what I understand, another two or three hours of just staring up at uh, the ceiling and my dentist and his assistant at various times while my mouth is a gaping open. Anyway, um, although, because I know I'm gonna be, you know, in that situation, um, I did the moisture mask this morning and I did the eye patches this morning because, you know, I was like, I'm going to be so dry. And then I did the um, moisture mask on my lips while I was doing the two together. And then I put the um, moisture stick on top because that's the one thing, you know, so dry. So I'm going to basically um, do that most of today <laughs> like a lot of moisture on my lips because they're going to get the most abuse today but um, I was like you know what I posted every once in a while uh, let's talk five minute look right and so you've seen my graphic it looks like a clock and it's got the five things you could do um, so what I was looking at is you definitely could use a cream eyeshadow and this is um, Pink Starlight blush. This is Rogue Rose because it just looks good on me, but a quick accent color. So for your five minute look, you could have Rogue Rose for your blush, and then you could have something like Hazelnut as um, your crease color, and it would be just real fast, right? Um, definitely CC Cream because it's just quick and easy. Um, Fanorama or any mascara, or the, if you saw my tip today, you might want to have just a waterproof mascara on standby because then you could just maybe flash the tips or just underneath and you'd be fine. Um, and then maybe a lip gloss and this is pink ballerina. So I thought that would be pretty today. Um, I am going to do, of course, my under eye corrector and concealer on top, uh, but with all that in mind, let's see five minutes, right? And um, so a couple more things about those tips. So those are really great tips. I love um, Lori Hogg. She's the makeup artist that I get these from on Tuesdays. So I, sometimes I wait until she posts them because they're like really good. Um, but she, um, you know, talking about using the waterproof mascara to lock in what you have, but also to keep this from doing any crazy stuff. Um, using the eye primer, which I had talked about recently, um, you could use that, do all of your cream eyeshadow and your powder and everything. And then just using your translucent powder on top. Um, I'll probably do that today just to show you what that looks like. <laughs> and then, um, and then you've all seen me putting, um, powder eyeshadow on top of my eyeliner and, that is probably why you'll see later in the day when I take pictures, the eyeliner stays where I put it, basically. Um, the the only other thing I could say, you could just really hammer down. If you're somebody who does like to wear a little bit under here, I would tell you to take your eye primer and just after foundation, um, just bring a little stripe right where you're going to put it and then put the powder um and, and I would tell you, really underneath here, stick to powder because it's it's going to stay. It's going to stick. But uh, if you do eye primer and then do eyeliner on top of it and powder on top, like, that's it. That's not going anywhere. All right, so real quick before we get into the fray. So we're going to take a little bit of my eye primer. And then um, under a corrector. So this is my skin super hydrated. <laughs> there we go. All right. And then we're going to do pink starlight.
and since I'm using it as my color today, I want to make sure I get that on. So if you tend to have oily eyelids, that's where the primer plus the liquid cream is kind of like a really good pair. All right, so we've got Pink Starlight there. Um, real quick, if you're like, well, I want just a little something more, take something like Hazelnut, and I'm just picking this because it's a nice neutral color, and just pop that in your crease. Depending on your skin tone, this may be, you know, a really good, just subtle. Um, if you tend to be on the bronzer side, you may find you want something like Cinnabar or Hot Fudge to really pop. But there you go. And a blender. And that's your eyes. So you're like moving and grooving. You're like, I am making good time. I just wanna make sure my lashes look pretty thick. There we go. Sisters, not twins. All right. Biggest tip I ever heard, sisters, not twins. <laughs> All right, and for our look for today, you could go back into the hazelnut and just soften it and set it. Just like that. And so again, still quick and easy. Um, at this point, mascara. I still do the lash primer. You don't have to if you're doing the five minutes. <laughs> you literally got, you've got five minutes to get on a Zoom call. Y'all, I've done it. What? Ran in here, grabbed my, my stuff and like jammed. I think the fastest I've done is four minutes, including my under eye corrector. There you go. Blush is usually what I might, may or may decide not to do. <laughs> so, so far so good, right? All right, so we're gonna put on our foundation. Just a little bit today because you know I'm gonna be sitting in that dentist chair for hours. Day three. I mean day three. Um Visit number three to the dentist though. So let's hope this time's a charm. So if, I can't find it, but if you're in an area where the doctors airs today, our chief scientist, Dr. Gildea, is going to be on live talking about our clinical solutions today. like questions I might not know you need could be answered. <laughs> um, I'm hoping they'll post a recording of it and I'll share it. I can't find it on our local stations, but in case somebody else can. There we go. Ta-da! Right? And so from here, um, Maybe just do a little pop here, especially since I'm keeping it real simple today. Five seconds. That 
five second eye lift is no joke. I'm going to tell you that right now. There we go. Got a little blush. Powder. Just to take a little bit of that shine down. Oh, we're gonna keep that open though because we are going to. All right, so for, I'm going to show you this little trick here. So take something either like this part of the brow brush or a smudger brush, something really tight, or even if you have the mini essentials brush, you could actually use this brush because it's nice and tight. All right, so I'm gonna grab some of that right there. So this is the primer. I'm gonna bring it right here and do two thirds, just like I normally do. Now, take my smudger brush and grab that hazelnut again. And now I've given it something to stick to. And so that's going to stay there all day and just finish off the look nice and easy breezy. And then if you are somebody again, who needs to really make sure those, your eyelids stay. So I did put translucent powder on here. And this will help keep any oil that you might have in your eyelids. This is colorless, so I'm not diminishing the color that I did today. Uh, easy breezy. So you do that if you wanted to. If that's something you're concerned about, you could definitely do that or not. And then take my pink ballerina with vitamin E. There you go. And that literally you know, I'm explaining it because I'm going, I'm adding a couple of things because of the tricks today, but you could literally do this in five minutes flat. Um, there's parts of it you could do or not do, blush or no blush, um, crease color or no crease color, like that's totally up to you. But this could be your five minute go-to and it's literally a petite palette, liquid cream eyeshadow, lip gloss, CC cream, a mascara at the basics of it. Um, it's up to you if you want to add in the under eye corrector, the concealer, the translucent powder, um, and the eyeliner. Those are all like really optional, but this will get you on to a uh, Zoom or a Teams call and look awake. So there you go. So that's what I have for you today. I hope that this is helpful. I'll post the pic of the five things that you can do for this five minute look. Um, if at any point this is of interest to you, just let me know. Um, I am halfway to my goal this month, so there's still time. <laughs> um, oh, I left it. I've got this really cute bag. Um, 
that um, I'm going to fill with products for everyone who places an order and somebody could win the little bag. I'll post that separately. Um, but again, if there's anything I can do to help you, as always, that's what I'm here for. Thanks.